Hey game lovers, welcome to my channel for insightful review of this fantastic game. And it's called Stray Lights. Action Adventure Stray Lights is a debut of the French studio Ambus, a game with a beautiful world, original combat and a pleasing soundtrack. We talk about the new project in this review. The plot of Stray Lights is littered with metaphors and it's not immediately understandable. We play as a tiny creature that is born and goes through the path of adulthood, gradually gaining the strange and gaining new abilities. There are no dialogues here, and the story is revealed through the images and descriptions of achievements. Therefore, do not be surprised if throughout the entire process of passing you will not understand what is happening here. You are not alone in this. However, even without a clear script, the game can be enjoyed, as a focus not on the plot but on the combat. The latter is based on pairing attacks. All opponents that the protagonist meets have three states that are marked with a certain color, orange, blue and purple. The hero on the other hand can switch between orange and blue stats. Therefore, during the battle, it's necessary to monitor what color the enemy takes, activate the same color and parry his attacks. Purple hits unlockable and must be dodged. The character can also attack monsters, but basic attacks are rather weak. It's much more effective to block blows or combine attacks and block. All this together fills the energy bar and after which the hero will be able to deliver a decisive blow and defeat the enemy. In boss battles it looks very spectacular, with spectacular camera angles and the uncomplicated QTS. It's important to parry each attack with its own color, which not only gives you increased on energy, but also restores the character's health bar. If you do not have time to change the color to the right and one block the blow, you will not receive damage, but the enemy will not suffer either. Therefore, you need to quickly respond to a change in the side of the opponent and effectively resist him. In addition, the protagonist has three abilities in reserve. The first allows you to temporarily forget about choosing a color and successfully parry any attacks without switching. The second briefly stuns the enemy, and the third allows you to jump forward and deliver a powerful blow. Abilities can only be used two or three times per fight, so don't scatter them, especially in both fights. After each fight, the hero's health is restored, and the ability swords are filled. There are also passive skills here, such as constant increase in the level of health and increase in the number of ability cells. Opened attacks. Points for leveling, then drop out of the defeated enemies, and points for improving active abilities must be sold in the open world. And with each upgrade, the number of points needed for further leveling increases. Therefore, you have to carefully study environments. Look into nooks and crannies. Although this is not the most exciting part of the game, the locations are large and beautiful, but empty and lifeless. The maximum activity that they can offer is to run at some animal and stroke it. As a result, the player having got into a new area, on the one hand, strives to get the boss as soon as possible, since boss fights are the most interesting part of the gameplay. On the other hand, he must explore a boring world and linger with ordinary enemies, without battles with which he will not be able to gain development points. In my opinion, the game should be more linear and focused on both battles, discarding those components that artificially stretch the passage. Straight Lights will delight you with its simple but addictive combat system, beautiful picture and atmospheric soundtrack, but it will tire you with empty spacious locations. This adventure leaves behind a pleasant impression but has a number of shortcomings that do not allow giving key to the highest possible score. Thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and bye.